Hello YouTubers! This video will show how to use an angle grinder and a wooden jig to cut down and level concrete. Although my application was to cut down the high point of our sloped concrete driveway, the technique of using a wooden jig to cut down high points can be used to level high spots in any concrete surface. First I'll show what the problem was. Next, the wooden jig that I built to cut down the driveway, the tools I used, and then the actual cutting and smoothing of the driveway. Here's a table of contents for this video. Use the time shown to jump to the section desired. To do that, slide the cursor over the progress bar to the time desired and click. OK, so here we go. This is our 2019 Honda Odyssey EX minivan on our driveway. The red line indicates the high point in the driveway. I'll refer to that high point as the ridge in this video. The bottom of the catalytic converter, which is on the passenger side, is just hitting the ridge. This is a video clip of the van entering our driveway. The catalytic converter can be seen right there and hitting right there. I'll show the video clip one more time. Catalytic converter right there hitting right there. Now here's a scale drawing that better illustrates the problem. Note how the front edge of the catalytic converter just hits the ridge of the concrete driveway. The dotted line shows that there is normally five and one half inches of clearance to the bottom of the catalytic converter when the van is on level ground. Note the two vertical lines on the driveway that mark where the tires touch the ground. This is a view of the jig I built to cut down the driveway's ridge. Two spacer blocks were positioned where the van's tires are. Since the clearance from the ground to the bottom of the catalytic converter is five and one half inches, using two by six blocks that are five and one half inch high as spacers was just right. With a four and a half inch angle grinder on the three quarter inch board of the jig, the blade will cut seven sixteenths of an inch into the concrete. After smoothing, the cut will be one half inch deep. That will give one half inch clearance from the cut down ridge to the catalytic converter. If leveling high spots in a concrete floor, Using spacer blocks that's equal to the depth the cutting wheel protrudes below the jig should work. In my case, the spacer blocks would be 7 sixteenths of an inch high. This is a picture of the actual jig on the driveway. Viewing from left to right, the 2 by 6 block is 5 and 1 half inches high, which matches the ground to catalytic converter clearance. The bottom of the 1x6 board rests on the ridge of the concrete, which allows the blade of a 4 and a half inch grinder that's resting on the 1x6 to cut into the concrete 7 sixteenths of an inch. I positioned the jig where there was already a half inch clearance, and I gradually moved the jig in the direction of the blue arrow. The grinder was on the other side of the jig as indicated by the red arrow. Views of the actual cutting were taken from the other side of the jig. Assembling the jig. Here's an accelerated view of how I assembled the jig.
Tools used. These are the tools that I use to cut down the concrete. Starting at the top in a clockwise direction, I use the Makita 9557 PBX1 four and a half inch angle grinder, a Makita A94552 four and a half inch turbo rim diamond masonry blade to cut the concrete. A uh, Shidaya tool four and a half inch diamond turbo row grinding cup wheel for concrete and masonry to smooth the concrete. I ended up not using the goggles because it was there was too much clutter under the full shield face mask. And I used the uh, dust mask and the full shield face mask. Cutting the concrete. This is a real-time view of cutting the concrete to give you an idea of the actual time it took to make one cut. The red arrowhead is pointing to the line that indicates the stopping point of the cut. This is the portion of the ridge where cuts were deepest. The depths of the cuts were very close to 7 sixteenths of an inch deep. Previous cuts can be seen by the leg of the stool. The shop back sucked in a fair amount of concrete dust so it was worth using it. When the music starts playing, that will be an indication of accelerated video. Here I'm making angle cuts in the concrete to prevent a tripping hazard. This video without the music is presented in real time. When the music starts, that will be an indication of accelerated video. Smoothing the concrete. Here I'm using the Shidaya tool diamond cup wheel to smooth the concrete. It worked very well and cut fast and smooth.
This is a top view of the cut portion of the driveway. And this is a side view. The red line will give you an idea of the amount of concrete that was cut down. Here's a picture that shows the clearance that the catalytic converter now has after the job. This picture was taken from the driver's side of the van. This picture was taken from the passenger side of the van. It gives a close-up view of the catalytic converter to concrete clearance. Well, that concludes this video of how I cut down the ridge in our concrete driveway. I hope it helps someone with a similar problem or folks who might need to level high spots in a concrete floor. Here's a glimpse of some videos that I've already posted on YouTube. Do a search for useful gizmos on YouTube to see a list of those videos. And here's a glimpse of some upcoming videos. If you have a preference for an upcoming video, please note it in the comments. I'll try to put a priority on it. Subscribe to my channel to be notified when videos are posted. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.